Bay Area Nerf is here with our interestingly intricate ideas for intermediate initiates buying guide for mid-tier lightsabers with the price range running from 200 to, to 400. Bam! Bam, there we go. I can't believe I got through that. It totally took, it took me like six takes. Anyways, um, so we are back, and yes. we have our, what we're calling the mid-tier buying guide. Now, yep. there will be some things that we talk about here, how lightsabers, hilts change tiers in our little ranking system based on the features that you add. Exactly. Uh, I mean, do we want to start this out right at Gator Room to kind of give them a broad spectrum on sort of what the, the media is about? Yeah, go ahead, go to me. All right, so uh, medium is basically, at this point, we're not going to talk about what you want to use your sabers for because we assume you just want a saber for some reason. And you want something that isn't just base, right? So it doesn't matter if you're dueling at this point. It doesn't matter if you're cosplaying at this point. You care what your saber looks like because that's mostly what you're paying for. And you care for features, features that are sure as hell not going to be used in like 90% of cosplay unless you're doing some choreography. And yep. features that aren't going to be used in like dueling uh, like 90% of the time if you're just actually doing like uh, a lot of the dirty right. stuff that's out there. This is when you want some bells and some whistles. Exactly. Um, you're, not willing, that whistle. you're not willing to drop the, the high tier price on some stuff, but you want a saber that's kind of uniquely yours. Um, you know, without going full, full custom. And so this is where you get into kind of the... Uh, even though the other ones are like uh, entry level, I feel like these are what you see. Do you go to like a saber gathering which we have been to multiple times I think this now. is the tier that's probably this most popular. This is the most popular tier. It's most kind popular of, tier. For most companies, this is their basic uh, saber with sound. Yep. And then with some options you may or may not want to add. Yep. Um, and as you'll notice the theme running through these videos. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of Ultra Sabers and a lot of Saber Forge. Yeah. Um, so, if you've heard the first video, you know we have a philosophy on this channel. Or at least I have a philosophy. Sure. When I get on a roll, guess what I don't do? Guess what I don't do? I mean, you might not always add an appendix to your work. So I don't check my facts. It's true. I should do, do some fact check. Shout out to Michael Rappaport for giving me that saying. That's the truth. This book has balls. Should be on New York Times bestseller list. Go download it at Audible or wherever fine audiobooks are sold. Not a sponsor. just. Yeah, I was like, we are not sponsored Amazing by Audible. Book, though. But Audible, if you would like to sponsor us, we'll listen to some books for you. We will yeah, we'll get it out there. Word. We will right. definitely have a cut in the middle and be like, Audible, when you need to hear Michael Rappaport swear at you <laughs> for a solid five minutes and laugh your ass That's off. such a good book. That shit is great. Such a good book. It is. Um, so, uh, in this, we're going to cover, this is, we have a lot of all-shaped Saber Forge. Like the last video, though, someone breaks into this tier. Uh, a True. rebel Saber company, if you will. Yeah. Not full of scum, though. Uh, uh, and yeah. when we get to that particular Saber... Uh, we will spend a little more time on it because its awesomeness should be highlighted. In yeah, it so, does have more uh, bells and whistles. I'm going to take the Ultra Sabers this time. Josh is going to take the Saber Forges. Um, and a lot of that just has to do with the Ultra Sabers I'm just a little more familiar with in this. Fair time. enough. And then we'll both talk about the uh, awesome one-off. Yeah, Good? I like it. All right, like so it. kicking us off this time is the Saber Forge Dark Initiate V4 from Ultra Sabers. Ultra Sabers. Not Saber 4. I was like, oh, wrong. The Ultra Sabers. I want to roll. And I don't listen to myself talk. <laughs> um, this is the Ultra Sabers. Dark. I have it. The thing is, we have little notes right here. <laughs> no, he just said, like, I'm going to take the Ultra Sabers. And it starts out saying, saying he's looking at one thing up. and talking about another. This is the Ultra yeah. Sabers V4 Initiate. Yes. Now, normally this Saber is their Saber with light sound options. Yeah. What does light sound options mean? For Ron and Josh. Don't know. It means Ronan it comes with one sound font. <laughs> yes. Um, dark or light. So good guy or bad guy. Yep. They're a little bit different. Sith or Jedi, if you will. Now, if you didn't... You know, we should talk about that real quick. Because we Jedi? didn't... No, no. We, I mean, yeah, but we didn't talk about that a lot in the last video. Sound yeah. fonts, which you will hear us talk about a lot, are just different sounds. It's the bank of right? sounds of different sounds your saber makes. Correct. So it's the it's the vroom vroom that it makes. It's the ignition sound. It's the sound when they hit something. Right? All of those can be different. And a sound font is all of them together in one uh, 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 group. Bank. Yeah, or bank of sounds. Yeah. Right? That you can install on a saber. And now the, a lot of these will come with pre-installed uh, mm -hmm. Uh, sound fonts. When we get into the really high custom stuff, they'll give you multiple sound fonts. You can download your own. You can create yep. your own. You can 
do all sorts of craziness. We might even hit that in a lightsaber here. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. We'll find out. Um, so the Dark Initiate, um, this is not how they look out of the box. I have done some, if you see the silver peeking out of the black. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is actually the first lightsaber mm -hmm. after the PVC debacle <laughs> of 2015. This, or 14. One of the teens. Yes. This is the one that I bought from Ultra Sabers. I remember. Um, I thought the look was okay. Mm -hmm. I actually know it. Thought, well, let me let me not tell this lie. At the time, we all thought we all thought these ultra sabers were sexy. Yes. We no, we did. We didn't know any better. We did. We know what we were doing. Yeah, you know. I got the button that I have grown to hate, which is the raised guarded switch. I'm yeah. Really I mean, it's the cheap button. It is a cheap button. And you think like the button? And I know what the other that doesn't make a like. big deal. Yeah. The button makes a big deal. This runs on four, three or four AAA batteries. I got. I want to say it's four AAA. Batteries. I think it's four AAA. I think it's four AAA. It's, it's ultra saber, so it's almost a certainly. Four um, AAAs. But there are options you can purchase for more. But anyways, this would have fallen to our last category. It would have. But I added some key features that drove the price up. Yes. One, with Ultra Sabers, if you buy any, if you want anything bigger than a 24-inch blade, mm -hmm. you are going to pay. Which is short. Short. Might sound long, but that's short. It's short. Because you're going to lose three inches on the socket, two or three inches. Yeah. Yeah. So if you want a anything longer, you're going to pay $10. Yes. So this price, this, this entry level of this price on this Saber is $160 to start. Yeah. We're just the basic sound setup. Correct. But then I'm going to add 10 for the blade, mm -hmm. 170 right? Yep. And it take me over the top. Yes. Over the top. Shoot. Moon. Yeah. Or an arm wrestling match, whatever you want to do. Whatever. To take me over the top. Wow. I added Flash on Clash. Yes. This man <laughs> loves him some Flash on Clash. Love me some Flash on Clash. Yep. I had to rewatch the movies to make sure it actually happens. Yes. No. We, didn't, we weren't positive. We weren't. It happens, but it does happen. We weren't. It does happen. It does happen. So flash on flash, what happens is when you hit your lightsaber against another lightsaber, the idea is... Or anything, really. Please stop shaking the camera when you do I'll it. Try not. Oh, that wasn't good. Sometimes when you hit your lightsaber too hard, it turns it off. There we go. Listen, folks, this is why when you buy... You get what you pay for, okay? I'm yep. not getting my batteries loose is what I'm doing. Yes. I don't have my batteries rubber banded in. I don't have them secure. The stuff that comes with it secure, kind of janky. That's why, you know. That's why a lot of the, uh, these options. Um, this not no. saying it's the company's fault. I'm just saying that this is not the ideal option for a saber setup. God, it's hard to just go around this now. Sometimes janky stuff happens. Yeah. And they happen to a couple companies more than others. Let's just say that. Yes. Anyways, when flash especially on when you're using like AAA batteries, you'll see some flash on clash <clears> later <throat> in this video that works better. But flash on clash basically means your lightsaber flashes white or another color when struck with another lightsaber. Yeah. Or struck against. Or anything. struck against anything. Yeah. yeah. Against anything. Yeah. The effect is for when the lightsabers. Lock yeah. Up. Yeah. Um, anyways, but it's just it's just a flash. It's not a lockup. A lockup's different. Right. Lockup is different. Lockup is constantly alternating. Like you, you guys are you're we'll going to town. Some, we'll see some. One lockups. is just a tap. Right, it's that little that that right. spark that they make when they hit each other, and you see the the lens flare in the in the prequel trilogy. What I appreciate about Ultra Sabers is that even in their in their entry level options, they allow you to add Flash on Clash for thirty five bucks. Yes, that is good to know because if you want a cheap saber with Flash on Clash, it is going to be probably this your best. This probably the cheapest one you're going to get. Yeah, two hundred five. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Two two hundred five, two ten. Two ten. Oh, two hundred five, two ten. Yeah. yeah, right around there. With that option set, yeah. but could have been in the last tier, but it made it to this tier. Yes. The next up is a Sentinel V4 from Ultra Sabers. Yes, indeed. This setup is their higher end soundboard. So this is not light sound. Right. What does that mean, Chris? That means, or Ferron, whatever I called myself. Sure. That means you get multiple sound fonts with this lightsaber. Which, Remember, we were just telling about sound fonts. Which we'll go through. That's got a nice blue to it. I like it. Also, the switch is different. You'll notice the switch is still raised, but... It's not, it doesn't have this collar around it like the other one, and it is illuminated. It you is can choose to get an illuminated switch, which is up to you. I would um, highly recommend if you're using an RGB setup. Do not. Do not get a switch. Because if you get one that's one color. You should get one that changes. Right. Some of those setups have Right. It. No, 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 that's what I'm saying. But, oh, that's, by the way, that's lockup. So if you can see it in the video, it's, it's, it's supposed it's to be like, ah, I'm locked up with another saber. Ah, ah I'm going back and forth. Right, okay, yeah. And then... This is not helping because the blade's not synced in. And it's little. It is mad tiny. Mad little. It is. Oh, God, it's really hard to do this way. Oh, oh. Oh, God, you know what? We have this really. Get this. Ah, there. There we go. Boom. 
so I'm so worried about I just flying out and hitting that. I'm worried about it too. So anyways, but that's not the main feature of this. So flash on clash is on this saber. What we're going to show you is on this particular board, which this is an older saber, so they have a newer version of this board. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So I've entered the menu. The menu. When I press the button. So that's a different it's sound font. In the name of the font. And it says the name of the font. Episode one. Episode two. I don't know if they paid for that. I'm not positive, but I mean, episode six. So this holds four different fonts plus mute. Right. So different sound fonts can be helpful if you are really into the saber game, and you know you're gonna be doing some stuff. Uh, honestly, on a RGB saber, this is a little bit bigger of a deal for me because I might want a red saber to have a different sound font than a non-red saber, but you might want something that's like, hey, I want to switch from, because uh, especially when you get into stuff when you can start uh, huh. I remember where the other five bucks came on. Cancel. <laughs> oh, if you don't pick something for you a while. I know it's it funny. Back. I did not know that happened. Um, no idea. Um, what were you saying? The extra five dollars on here, we were talking about 205 and 210? Yes. See these emitters that are cut out? Oh, yeah. You have to pay $5 for that. Yes. So on this um, one, also $5 for the emitters. Correct. That is an option, which is good to know as well. Good to know. Because it does look pretty cool. Um, what I was saying is the different sound fonts can be helpful if you want to do different characters and different things, right? You want to go light side, dark side, you might want different sound fonts. If you want like an unstable blade, you're going to potentially want a different yep. sound font for that. Uh, or if you just want to get crazy, crazy, you know, it is what it is. Get crazy. Um, but for a lot of people, they just want it to make a sound. Any sound. Well, once they don't have to make themselves anyway. To note on this saber, the black rings around there are O-rings from the hardware store. Correct. And the standard stock saber of this does not come with this pommel. This is a pommel that I got from another lightsaber that I no longer own. I swap yes. pommels because I thought this one put out sound better, and it makes it look a little cooler. Yeah, I like gotta, that. Gotta dress an ultra saber. Gotta dress an ultra saber up to take her to the dance. Yeah. Or hit her to the dance. Yeah. Hit to the dance. Hit to the We're dance. Going to dan We're going dancing. Yes. Okay, next up, and my last one for a minute, because then Josh can take over. God, I'm on, I need some water. Um, is the Azure Reaper from Ultra Sabers missing? There's going to be parts missing on this one. So there's a little backstory about this lightsaber. I traded this lightsaber uh, for another lightsaber I owned a while ago um, because back in the day, before RGB, this is how the story was told to me. Oh. They used this cool setup called, and I don't have them out here. No. But they're co it's called the color disc system. Yes. So you got a lightsaber with a white light, and you have these little. They're basically chips for bingo. Yeah. Where I think they got them. And yeah. They come in different colors, okay? And you put them between in the the, the black light side. And yes. Played, and it makes a color. And it changes the color. So if you put a red and a blue together, you're gonna get a purple saber. Yeah, man. But it gets mad oh, dim. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, it was rough. So this lightsaber also. I don't even out. think they do that. No I don't one know does that. any no, company no, that does that no anymore. No one does that anymore. That is super old. So this lightsaber started out in a with a completely blue an anodized look. Yes. Um, which I after time I just thought looked dumb. It, it so I really took is. oven cleaner. So all of the cutouts I believe right or all these little, little we're silver we're silver. This is, uh what's it it's pattern. Etching. It is an etch pad, but I'm saying it's looks, a, it, it looks, looks like, like a uh, circuit board. There that looks board. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's actually board. a second claw that goes on the bottom. Um, there's a second so claw that big. goes... It is. Surprisingly light, though. Surprisingly light. Surprisingly light. Um, second claw that goes on the back that I have since... I don't. I have it somewhere, but I don't like it. Yes. I like the top claw. I don't like the second claw. Oh, well, because the second claw for me... I, I, this is a weird diversion, but it really makes it look like it should be a saber staff. It does. Uh, because yes. the emitter looks too much... They already look very similar. We'll the turn, it, turn it on for you guys. No, we won't. No, we won't. Because there's no batteries in that. It's in the other one. Yeah. Anyways, it's got the same thing. It's running a board with multiple sound fonts. Correct. Um, it's going to come in. Um, the last, the this one came comes in. So the last one we covered, the Sentinel comes in at two two fifty. This hilts a little nicer and more detailed. So right. this is going to run you about two sixty five. Okay. Two sixty five. Yeah, and I mean, I mean, you got to. They have to etch all this stuff and do it, and then they're adding these things on. Yeah, it's more metal. So yeah, I mean, more it, machining. It makes the hilt's bigger. Right. The, when you get, you'll notice like. For something that's really basic and a lot of stuff we covered last time that was basic, it's a lot of just like rings, right? It's like right. a pipe with some rings because that's easier, easier to, to do than once that. you start adding in all this stuff, right? Yep. And that's when this really starts to go from just a flashlight to something more. Yep. And it starts to really Fair. become artwork, yep. you know? 
Um, but I, you know, it's, so it's funny. I've tried to trade the saber a couple times, <laughs> and and when I'm about to trade it, and luckily no one, or not luckily, but unluckily no one's traded me. Right. Um, I actually feel bad pulling the trigger. I don't know why I like the feel. So it looks kind of weird, mm-hmm. but it feels great in the hand. It, it really does. It's lighter than you think it is. It's a nice big... So there are times where I want a large saber. Right. Ultra Sabers is known, by the way, for their large diameter. Large saber? Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> He's there. He's there. Uh, quick sidebar. So what, the reason you see the reason you see Christopher Lee, R.I.P., uh, behind us, oh, and man. he's the only Star Wars character that's behind us, yes. is because... Um, even though I despise the prequels with the power of a thousand suns, yes. feel free to comment whatever. Eat it. Um, there is. It did give me my one of my top five favorite Star Wars moments when Mace Windu um, separates the Jango Fett's head from his body. If you notice, there's a quick cut to Christopher Lee, and he just kind of <laughs> sits back and just kind of like, oh my. It, it, I just envision someone really getting their head chopped off on the set or something, and Chris really is like, "I did not sign up for this." <laughs> I just, I find it very humorous every time. Yeah, it never stop the chuckle. I've made meme, vi- and I don't make a lot of meme videos and stuff, but I do it. Yes, I, with that one, it's just great. Uh, it's great. Anyways, so that is the Azure Reaper from Ultra Sabers that will conclude our Ultra Sabers portion of for the entire run. Yeah, that's the, the highest tier Ultra Saber that we have. That we own. Now, yeah. Ultra Sabers can go into the expensive tier. Correct. Uh, they make a replica of the Sword of Omens. They do. Cats. They do. I don't know if it's... It's got to be legal. They, I, they mm-hmm. make... Um, uh, they actually make what... So, of the cross guard Sabers that everyone makes... Yes. I actually have owned one of their cross guards before. I actually regret getting rid of it. I like their cross guards mm-hmm. um, because it's something about a thin cross guard... Doesn't sit. I just don't know. Like Kylo's don't like is it. huge. He don't like. He don't like the thin cross. Kylo's is huge. It is really. And the Ultra Sabers are smaller than Kylo's Master Replica by a lot. Yes. And they're still huge, right? Yeah. No, they're big. But then you get to like the next another one by other companies like Saber Forges. They're it's thin, yeah. man. So I'm like, I don't. I... Yeah. But anyways, so yes. I will turn it over to for Josh go next. All right. So we got here is the uh, Saber Forge Acolyte. Um. Now, this was the first Saber Wars sound that I got. Uh, so, I went to their cheapest tier of hilt, which I forget the names of. Uh, the, their warrior? Is there entry level? No, no, no. Oh, oh the hilt. apprentice. Yeah. They're, oh, you're right. Apprentice. So, apprentice. Shoto. They added Shoto after this. Yep. And Shotos are the small ones. This is the apprentice. So, this is a, a you know, full size. And then there's... One after that, and that's just basically way I more detailed it's, versions. It's elite. A lot of wraps. Yeah, I think it might be elite. Yep. Um, so the first thing you're gonna notice is this big like, what the heck is that? It's uh, it's not a tuma. It is a kill key. Um, so if you put this in, it stops your battery. Uh, it, it disconnects everything once you've got it pulled out. It, uh, it won't drain while on the shelf. Correct. Uh, so let's go ahead and throw this guy in. Uh, this is their uh, champion tier, so it only comes with one sound font. Uh, it is not color change or anything like that. You can choose in Saber Forge between two sound fonts, the light and dark. Uh, and I have the light and And we have an update. We do have So this is the old style board, the 2.0. Yes, 2.0 or 2.5. Their, their like champion that. tier currently... It currently does give you some more options. Gives you three sound fonts, and I yeah. believe it adds Flash on Clash. Oh, I don't know about the Flash on Clash. But we don't. While well, you're talking about this, I'm gonna, <gasps> he's gonna fact, gonna fact check. check. Lie. Well, he's so I'm I'm on a roll and he's fact checking. So this is on. Nice blue. This is their light light side font. Um, no Flash on Clash, as we pointed out. Um, it does have swing sounds. Uh, if you hit the button, it has the blaster bolt sound effect. Um, if you. Uh, if you have the dark font, it has, I want to say, the Force Lightning sound effect, uh, where it's more like crackling and all yeah. that kind of stuff. And this is, it's a deeper hum. Um, and then you hold this guy to, to turn it off. It is, actually, I think the next one coming up might have the dark sound font. It might. And, and just to confirm, it, the new champion tier. These are now veteran tiers. Is what These are now, called. yeah, veteran. Clearance out the old boards. Yep. Um, what this does is, you take your warrior tier at a base of $75 for this particular hill. Yes. You add two fifty yes. to get the champion effects. Correct. The current champion sabers, I don't wanna I don't wanna 
Mm-hmm. Now you start credit them. That's fair. Three sound fonts. Right. One light, one dark. You can mix it. You can do three lights, three darks, one light, one dark, right. and one of rando. So now you're getting multiple sound fonts. And it's flash on clash. So they have okay. changed their middle tier significantly from when we were purchasing them yep. to include features that their competitors... A scant couple of years ago. A couple... Yeah, this was... Was this even two years ago? This uh, this like is, I don't even think this was a full This is like a year and change. This is a year and change. Yeah, this wasn't... Uh, oh, another thing we should mention about Saber For- or Saberforge. Uh-huh. They have an Etsy shop. They do have an Etsy shop. And uh, if you want to get something... Actually, I think me and our other friend ordered at the same time. And I did full on their website because I wanted yep. very specific things and uh, he went to their Etsy page and bought something similar. The Etsy page has stuff that is more or less pre-put together. Correct. So they ship it out significantly faster. I had to wait, I think, like a month or two more than, than he did. I think you waited almost two um, months. And he yeah. waited, like, he got his in like two and a half weeks. Yeah. So their Etsy shop at times yes. ships much faster because they're not built to order. Right. They are ready to ship. Right. So they'll already have most of the, the components, and this, this they have to wait for it to get done. If you want weathering, they're going to custom do the weathering. Whatever color things you want, you get to, to choose. Like, I got a uh, green. So they actually didn't offer. <clears throat> when I ordered this, there's a story here. I, we were going to a convention. I love story. And everybody else uh, was going, we were going to Sith. But everybody else ordered a red lightsaber. Uh, now I like green. So I wanted a green lightsaber. I didn't think this looked super Sithy. But I figured, oh, I'll... They have a quick change LED. So I ordered the quick change LED with the Saber. Uh, I didn't check the uh, um, switch options, so I don't even know if they had these. They have non-lit. Um, I think they have non-lit now. I don't know at the time if they, they did or not. But I didn't even look at the switch options. So it came with green because I ordered green. Oh, that was great. Then I swapped out the LED That's myself because, you know, pull it out. A little bit of a pain, but not too bad. Put it in. I realized, now I've got a red freaking <laughs> saber with a green uh, switch, and it bugged the shit out of me for the longest time. Uh, so just, you know, word to the wise, if you're going to be swapping things out, don't get a lit switch. Uh, they don't have an option, at least, maybe they do now, but I don't think so. I don't think they have an option for a color-changing LED switch, uh, at least at this think, tier. I don't think so. Uh, I don't think they offer it, but... Uh, we yeah. could be wrong. So this is this is pretty, at the time, standard champion tier now is their veteran uh, We are not claiming to be experts on lightsabers. We are claiming that we are passing on what, what little we know. Yeah, you can add a little bit more depending on the options you want. Yep. I liked it clean, but you can get it weathered, uh, which... I think oh. an interesting note. Yep. Cover that. Cover this? No, no, no. Cover what this is versus what we're going to see in the next one. I don't know. What is this that's, that's, the, that's the puck setup, right? Where this comes out to get to your battery. Oh, yes. Oh. I don't know. Oh, my, that's my, my, my in hilt. So anything that has a kill oh, key, yeah. if it has a kill key, that means it has in hilt uh, in hilt LED, in hilt uh, recharge port. Yep. Right, which is what the kill key goes into to to cut off uh, power to it. Correct, but that that come out did that twist. Oh, you're supposed yeah. to forget it. Forget it. Forget it. I was, I was wrong. I was really I was confused wrong. at what he was trying you to ask me to do. Edit, it, cut no, it, it's fine. jump it. Sorry. Um, so the older Saber Forge ones used to have a, a plug in here mm-hmm. that used to be able to hold in, and you drop it out to get the oh. speaker. I don't know about it. I had an old Saber Forge. See, I don't know know about any of that. And I gave it away. Um, But on that same Saber Forge, no, no worries. Uh, This is the Talon, which actually came in at the same price when these were both purchased. Yes. Um, $325. Let's see what this got. Saber Cool Crimson. So this is uh, is their weathering, or their their black, not their weathering. No. Um, But it it looks weathered. It does. Uh, This has, oh, look at that, a blacked out uh, switch. With no LED, because somebody was smarter <laughs> so than I was. Uh, you know, listen, it is what it is. Now, one of the things I want to know... Oh, you can't see this. It'll be a bomb. Maybe you can. Oh, they knock everything over. Um, right in here. Right in here. There is... <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. Um, oh, my God. <laughs> this is a... Uh, what, what do they actually call this damn thing? It's... A thin... No, it's not a thin neck. No, it is, I mean, it is a thin neck. It's a thin neck. But uh, there's, an actual, there's an actual term I for this. Remember. Basically, the blade, normally it goes into a hole. This goes around uh, a, a uh, collar. There we go. Collar was the word I was searching for. Which, to note before I put this in here, on if you're getting a normal uh, uh, Saber Forge blade, the blade that will ship with it, the film. internal film that diffuses the light will be cut higher up to accommodate for that collar going into it. So it goes in, it goes over it, 
solid. It's nice and tight. Let's, uh... Ooh. Sounds good. This... Hold on, did you get vibrations in this? Oh, I was not prepared for that. Actually, this might be the 10 bucks more. So, this was purchased at their shop, at their storefront in, in, Port, in uh, Oregon City, Oregon. So the price I paid was three twenty five. Right. But I um I got it. Like there was a discount involved. There was yeah. This may or may not have been. Like but it's a, still a within. It's still within this tier. It still is within this tier. Yeah. So it's um, got force vibration effects. Yeah. It, I chose not. I, honestly, so this is not my lightsaber. This is my wife's lightsaber. Yes. So I've actually never handled this one. Oh. And, and actually, Ooh. if she watches this video and sees that we have touched her lightsaber, there might be some angry comments in the comment box. Sorry, sorry, Les. I love you. You didn't tell me that. I was I, not. I, I was I, unaware. I left out that. I was unaware of this before checking. I started picking things up and touching them, turning them on. You told me just all right. So <laughs> let's go over this. I wow, that I was just I've really jarring. Oh my! <laughs> this has got to kill the battery. This has got to kill the battery. All right, let's see. Uh, all right, same. No same flash on clash. No flash on clash. Um, so that is lightning effect. Uh, whereas mine was a blaster bolt, so when I when I touched it, it just made one. Keep talking about All right. This. this one, when you push it once, it's got that. Some people I've seen. I'm gonna turn this off because it's really like loud. Uh, I've seen some people use it as a uh, um, a lockup sound effect, like you know sabers going against each other. But it is. I, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a force lightning sound effect, which is why it stays on uh, the entire time. But uh, this is sort of the um, an example of their their blacked out model. It does look a little bit more weathered. I think it looks a little bit more Sithish. Uh, so definitely, yeah, I always uh, tend to see these in red. But just me. Anyway, Hold on. that's what we oh I'm oh bring up over a surprise. Oh, for we got surprises. All right. Uh, what do you need? You need this saber I need to, to surprise me, so, surprising people. Um, quick right. thing you can do with your lightsaber if you so choose. Ooh. -hoo. We all, we all love, we all enjoy Phantom Menace only for one reason. That was the awesomeness of Darth Maul. Yes, indeed. So, no, we didn't we do got... it for any other reason, that's for sure. Sure wasn't Natalie Fortman. Oh, um, oh shout, out to, shout out to Dr. Landers with that one. Damn. That's all right. a deep cut. That is a deep cut. All right, so, so this down. is a coupler you can add to your lightsaber yeah. to turn it into a saber staff. You guys get that idea. I just want to make sure I showed that to you. That's a, like a $10 option you can buy. Right, so you can oh. buy this piece. If you're buying two sabers, they don't have to look exactly alike. They just have to screw in together. They, it, so this one, for example, couldn't be added to a saber staff because this this one unscrews, right. but this bottom part, it won't fit in to yep. this. So you have to you know make sure that your stuff is compatible before you purchase. Um, also, if you're going to get sound on a saber staff, things to consider is not getting sound on both sabers. Right, so pop the sound. All right. No sound. Right? But it still sounds like it's a that's why this is, sound. That's why this is vented. This is vented. Now, if you have conflicting sounds... Also, when you're holding it, don't do that. Yeah, don't, don't hold it right there. Um, but if you have conflicting sounds, uh, you could run into problems with, um, you know, it's, it's them drowning each other out or making noises. That I, I can't vouch for two sound savers being put together. I've not, heard, I've heard they, some may not be, they may not be the greatest idea. Haven't seen it in person, but heard some bad things. Yes. Um, so that, but that is an option. Uh, this is the coupler offered by Saber Forge. Um, yeah. Next, next. Saber so Forge. that's it. That's it. Let me throw this kill key back in. So the nice thing with the kill key on a lit switch is that you can tell, hey, I turned it off. It's dead. Yep. They, it's very true. This kill key, you just gotta hope. But when you pull it out, Saber Cool Crimson. So Crimson. This was the Viridian, right? Viridian. Viridian. All right, we're going to go to this guy. Now, this guy, oh, this is the Saber Forge, what is this called? The the Sinister Prophecy. All right. First off, no, no, I got to just, this saber is ridiculously deep. <laughs> this oh, saber yeah. is ridiculously deep. There's a couple deep. things about this saber that are interesting. All right, I'm going to pull this. Oh, I guess Same champion you know setup. What? Same champion setup, you're right. I'm going to see if this guy, how far this even goes in. So you, you've seen how this is on sabers, right? It's a deep pocket. That's it goes down this far. It's a deep pocket. That is really deep. Definitely but deep you have these really cool cutouts in this guy. So, uh, and also the bottom. Uh, I like this. I don't know why. I think that looks cool. Oh, it does look cool. It does look cool. All right. So, uh, also, one of the weird things about, well, not weird, but different things about this is that the kill key is on the opposite side as the switch. It these is. other two, the kill key is on the same side as the switch. They're yep. usually right underneath it. 
Uh, so we're going to pull the And so you guys know the difference between this and the other ones, a mm -hmm. lot of difference. So this is the apprentice level. Yep. That's what we just showed you. This is our first elite level Saber Forge. Yes. I think that's the only elite level we own. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think, so, I think so. So this is but the it's next still level. champion sound? Still champion guts. Okay. So the so champion is the sound board yep. uh, that's on here. Uh, and it's the old champion, not the new champion. So this would actually be a veteran now. This would be a veteran now. Um, but it's elite as far as the uh, the outside. Yeah, that's the, the, the class hilt, is the hilt class is elite. Yeah. Uh, so let's pull this puppy. Crimson. Sounds similar, but now we got we got a little bit of the LED going on here on the switch. I really like you can see through those cutouts. I mean, you might not be able to because the light's really bright, but it looks really sweet. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's basically the same as the other stuff, but this is just a there. So their I got step this up. on a bought this second hand. Actually, bought a lot of these second hand. Um, so ooh, ooh. It, it's, it's not. It's, it's I just no. I'm so scared of this thing flying out. You can take the blade out and just do it anyway. But then I can't hit anything. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, there you go. All right. Amazing. So the one thing I would say about this saber and a couple other saber forges I've seen in general, this is more of like a PSA. Yes. Oh, yes. Good PSA. Hold it down. I know. There you go. A <laughs> couple PSAs. Yeah. Um, in this particular model, mm -hmm. my button has come out a couple times yeah. from being unglued. Now, it hasn't ripped out. It just kind of fell out. You it didn't come it. out so much that it was just like hanging way down here, right? Right. You it just the, pops out a little, little bit. bit. You put a little glue in there, it fixes itself. Oh, Not really. So what I so this saber, <clears throat> when it comes fresh, has a lot of sharp edges. Yes. Yes, it does. And a lot of sharp. Uh, I mean, sharp. mine actually had some sharp edges on it as well. Yeah. So it had a lot of sharpness to it. Yeah. So I had to go take a set of sandpaper. Yeah. And sand down the points. And you'll notice that ours are very similar with this this cutout right here. Um, mine was really sharp, and then on the back end, I think yours was like this, might have been like this too. Yep, so sharp. especially when you unscrew, for me, this part, because mine doesn't stick, mine sticks out, yours doesn't. Right. Uh, this, and mine is thin. Is this thin. I sliced the hell out of my thumb on this thing. So, just if you're buying out. these, be careful. Um, if, listen, this is not, this is not, I'm not degrading the company no. that makes them. I'm saying you got to know what you're getting into, yeah. and... Yeah, they, they probably should do a little more with their factory to make sure this doesn't happen. Yeah, but it is what you know, it is. It is what it is. Um, but it is there, and it's definitely a thing. Like these, these, these were these are still actually not even after I sand yeah. down. They're still sharp. Don't drop this on your foot straight away. Correct. Um, but I like the saber. It's a little thicker. It's a little ones, bit thicker. The elite ones are more robust. Yeah. On the grip. Yeah, um, definitely. I mean, with pictures. that. So with the deepness, the deep seat of that, it yep. would be really great. And I know we talk, said we weren't going to do too much of this, but it's, it'd be really great if you want something with sound and you might do some dueling. Yep. Because it is deep in there. It man. is. It is. It holds the blade really. And it's got ridiculous. two blade retention screws. Yeah, which I like. I always love having a couple blade retention screws. Okay. Um, All right. So our last, and, th and this comes in at three ninety nine. Yes, so um, this is a little bit, little bit more expensive than with these. the new champion setup. With the new champion, as, setup. as a veteran, it comes in at three fifty. Yeah, with the current setup that you saw on this video, mm -hmm. it actually would be three fifty now. Yes. Okay. That leads new to price. our last saber. Um, this saber is a yeah. um, take it, take it home, daddy. <laughs> this saber is from Do a it. company called Electrum Saber Crafts out of the Great White North in Canada. Yes. Um, they have a few different saber options. I believe this is their fourth. This is either their fourth or fifth entry. I think it's their fourth entry. It's their fourth entry too. It's their fourth entry into lightsabers. Um, they have a lot of unique features. We're not going to cover all the features in the video. There's no. just no way. It's too much yeah. time. Um, their price of this saber, it's in this category range. All their sabers are actually a little over three hundred. They are, but under four hundred. Yes. This they one actually got perfectly. Has only has the pre-order price listed, which was two ninety nine. Right. But. Um, it won't be sold at that when they're out, from what I understand. Right. Okay, they have listed the initial, the real price of it. Yes. This is an RGB setup, so lots of color options. Now, lots of stuff going on. Oh. This is a lot different than the hilts you've been seeing in our videos. Correct. Got some brass on there, some black. Now, they break it up. I like that they break it up at this price point, because right now... It's pretty much been mono. mono right, mono either you get a, a little bit of black like I did on, on this Saber Forge here with this uh, on this Acolyte, um, or you get a lot of black with a little bit of uh, I wear I told you we were going to spend time on one Saber on this video. This is the one. This is the one. So, this is... Oh, I spoiled it. You spoiled so it. This is your control box. See that right there? There's no buttons on this Saber. Yes. So turn it on. 
Just swipe up. So turn it on, off. You swipe down. I'm messing this up because I'm on the video. Everyone that's done a video on these has, has messed, messed up, up turning it on or off. It's happened for everybody. All right. Um, this saber, so the features of this lightsaber. It's red. Don't put a blade in there. I will put a blade in there. You're right. There you go. Stick a blade in there. And actually, it's got a pretty deep seat, too. It does have a pretty deep seat. Um, Come on. I have, I, I have faith in you. You can do this. I really can't, though. You start you just have to cut this thing. There we go. <laughs> you, have to, you have to cut that. Just cut it and fix it. You better fix it. Seriously, I'm just going to Fuck you. Okay. That shit. So, to get into your menu on this saber, you hold down the center key. It's going to take a couple seconds to actually make sure you connect to the menu. From this menu, if you touch the bottom, you will change your sound fonts. Yep. Mantle of the Force. And if you change the top. It goes into presets of different colors and color options like the flicker is something you can adjust all these things are adjustable they are adjustable they are adjustable. i wish i had a preset that i should have done before this video but we'll do i'll do a different video i may i promise i will at some point make a video just, just about this lightsaber yeah. it yeah. deserves a 25 minute video all on yeah. its own i'm gonna turn it off so you guys can hear me uh, you have to choose one there you go done all right okay so, so that's not the coolest part about this lightsaber surprisingly what? I mean, I'm already sold based on the fact that for in our same price range, I'm getting brass accents, which I freaking love. You do love the brass I accents. I love some brass accents. That's now, it's so sexy. Some folks have complained that their lightsabers, their pommels and emitters are very similar, and that's happened on a couple of their sabers. I don't see it on this lightsaber, and it, in, I don't except in the fact that, sure, they both look like lug nuts. Yeah, I mean, they're, short, they're similar, but they're but super different. I don't know. I, I dig it. They're super different. And this, I don't know if you can see this in the video or if this is just something subtle, but the, uh, like, sort of faux grenade grip that they have going on here, it actually goes in um, and is really ergonomic. It's it not is. like it's not the same this diameter is, all the way down. It's pretty comfy, it's even really though comfy. the control box in the bottom, so it's interesting. It's like a two-hander, right? Right. Um, which I, I just realized how ridiculous this looks when we have the little blade. It's pretty, it's pretty ridiculous. ridiculous. The pretty other cool. ones, this is actually, this control box is not raised. It's actually in the Saber. Yes. So on their other ones. So just check out their Electrum Saber Crafts is the place. Yeah. Um, but, and we'll get to the end of the recommendation in a minute. But, yes. to charge the Saber, mm -hmm. you are going to have to uh, detach your pommel area, which is actually, this is actually one piece. Yes. Which you think would be this would screw off, but no. One piece. One piece. All of theirs are like that. And then there's a port in there to charge saber and an accessible memory card to change your sound fonts. Oh, I change the sound fonts. A couple of these other sabers we've gone over, the Ultra Saber, higher end ones, you can change the sound fonts. Yep. This, you can change the sound fonts. Mm -hmm. um, the Saber Force Champion, you cannot change the sound fonts. So you see within this tier, there's a lot, a lot of options. options of what you can do. This does have flash on clash, but we didn't show it. It has flash on clash. Yeah, it does. Okay. Now, here's what's awesome. And I'm not going to demo it on my phone because it just would no. It won't work. Yes. Electrum has an app. You can color blend, change your sound fonts, change your flicker, your pulse, what color you flash on Clash, yep. and a lot of other options from an app on your device via Bluetooth. That is pretty snazzy. I got to say, it is really snazzy. Um, That's pretty, and, not, and they're not the only one that does it, but not. from what I've heard, their app is the best developed. Yeah. But, you know. The one I own. I just got this in last <laughs> week. Yeah. Um, it's, man, it's nice. It's really light, too. It is light. It's really light. I think with all the stuff on it, it would not be so light. Yeah. Now, there's a downside to some of this awesome uh, these features. Absolutely. Uh, the, the first and most probably complained about or, or dominant is going to be the battery life. Battery life, if you're using the app. Correct. Is is pretty rough. The Bluetooth does drain the battery right. pretty quick. If you're in the app messing with your stuff... Yeah. Um, it's rough. I would say preset it before you leave your house or your to your con or whatever. And you have multiple settings, right? When he was going through those, those were all different all settings different that he has saved. That already saved. Right? Which means, uh, like you said, you, we already went home. Yeah, so the pulse effect, which we're not going to, I'll show you in the, in the in the video, it's cool. So when it was flickering, yeah. you can change that to a slow heartbeat. Right. And it could be different colors. Right. So if you want to do something like you, you, you really like Kylo Ren's sort of unstable saber look, you can change the flicker to sort of match that. Yeah. And you can put in a sound font where it sounds kind of crackly hours, and all that stuff's going hours, on. Hours. Hours. Oh, man. I spent hours with it. I'm just like, I don't. Yeah. I, had to, I had to stop because I'm like, I, I just don't. I got to take There's that. so much customizability. Take it all in. Yeah. Um, and on top of that, this saber 
looks fucking Old Republic sexy. It does look Old Republic sexy. It looks Knights of the Old Republic. Almost all Star Wars fans love Knights of the Old Republic. Like that era, right? Yeah, so that you know. era before the Jedi really turned into those overconfident prequel schmarmy pricks that they became, right? When they were regal and just, you know, yeah. you know, you talk about elegant weapon for a simpler time, I think you're talking about the Old Republic. Yeah. And it's got that look. It, it's really sexy. I really, I when it, he showed it to me, I was like, this is a nice. It's a nice, and it didn't break the bank. It didn't. And it you'll even see in our higher end reviews, this is, even when our nicer stuff that we're going to show you next video, mm -hmm. this is a pretty distinct look for a lightsaber. It is It is pretty, very unique. So I know this has turned into like an Electrum Sabercraft love fest. Right. I don't care because honestly, if, you have, if you're going to buy in this tier, mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you, he, he, I'm going to tell you straight out, just go buy one, buy something from these guys. If you like one of their hilts. Yeah. So, uh, so, so I would actually agree with you. If, like, if you, if you really like a hilt that Saber Forge or Ultra Sabers yeah. or someone else makes, then yeah, go for it because you want what, you know, what you want. But if you like these, man. I know, yeah, if you, unless you really are in love with another hilt, the features you get yeah. for the 300, so like I said, they range from 320 up to 400 in that range. Right? Yep. There's not a ton of add-ons because they already pretty much do everything for you. There's weathering options. This yeah. can be copper, by the way, which I almost pulled the trigger on copper. Because it looked amazing. Yeah. In every photograph, copper and black looked just incredible. Oh, gosh. Right? Incredible copper and black. So, yeah. just tons of options. Um, really great lightsaber. It's um, solid. And that's kind of why I swapped it into our closer so we don't know what the price is going to be. Right. This was a pre-order. But it should still, based on their previous sabers. It'll fall within this range. It'll fall within this range pretty easily. Yeah. Uh, it's not. This one isn't suddenly going to be sick. $600. And they, they said, yeah. Right. And, oh, and the company... Um, so I posted my quick thoughts on this on a yes. couple forums, yep. and the owner didn't even say, hey, I'm the owner. I didn't go look at who he was. He was commenting a lot. Right. And he was the owner, and he was taking feedback. Like, people were giving feedback and their opinions. He yeah. was like, hey, we're listening to your feedback. Um, you know, we got some stuff coming out, but that's great feedback. Like, they're pretty nice. Yeah. They're, they're very they're, responsive, which is always They are super responsive. I was messaging them. At, I messaged them on Messenger late at night. Yeah. Assuming that they'll get to it tomorrow. Then for like 20 minutes, right they responded like, hey, Chris, try this, this, and this. Yeah. Make sure you charge it full because it, it was crackling a little bit. And they're like, and the, crack, and the crackling went away. Right. Because it was just low battery. Because, you know, you get excited, you get the thing out. Yes. Um, you know, mostly pros, a couple cons were the charging, having to take this off the charge. I So the reason I think removing this and having the charging port underneath is a con is because if I'm at a convention. Yeah, I just said con because that would be weird. Is... um. I want to be able to top my saber off if I'm getting later in the day. Yeah. And having to take that off to do that, and it doesn't have a removal battery, by the way. It's wired in. Right. It's a wired in battery. Wired in battery. Yeah. I think that's kind of, like, I asked them, I said, hey, can I buy a second pommel so I can have someone drill this thing out right. so I have a convention usable pommel? They don't have them for sale yet, but they will in the future, hopefully. That's awesome. That's super awesome. But they're a newer company. They've they're already been out of here. They've been out of here. They, yeah. They're about a year. Brand new. Go check them out. This, the, turning it on like this is, the, is ah. so fucking sexy. Oh, I didn't cover this. Sorry. Oh, okay. So this is backlit silver. Everybody that does a video on I can do it when I'm not on camera. That's So yeah. if you notice, like when I'm pressing the button here, it's got a little bit of an amber light to it. You probably it can't. I'm sure our light is washing it out because we don't have, you know, like light filters and all that proper bullshit like yeah, real we, people who do YouTube people. videos. You're right. But, you know. Okay, there. No, I got a little amber. Okay, yellow okay. amber. Okay, so you can actually choose the color of what the three touch points light up as and they can all be different colors. That's fantastic. I had no idea. I went with amber because it's neutral, but you could do red. Like, it could be red, blue. It, like, they have Ooh. four, I think four or five color options Ooh. and each one can have, and also the plate that's silver down here, you can pick different oh. uh, colors for the background and... Different they have designs. four different designs of what that plate looks like. Right, so this one's got that kind this, of... I think it's called Ion. I think this right, one, it's got like three one. things. There's another one where it looks more like the... A microchip. Um, yeah, like the, the circuit board sort of similar yeah. to like a Graflex uh, yeah, yeah. version. Hold on, Graflex 2? Oh, I have no idea. You're because you went from like the, yep. the, the calculator bubbles, right? To yep. the, yeah. See. Just awesome saber. Watch, uh, I've watched that movie a time or two. So this tier of lightsabers, um, realistically, is for those that are, you know, you've been, you might have gotten the hobby on the stunts, 
you want something a little nicer, you want some features. Uh, well, as you've seen, you can get a little bit of features in the $200, you right. know, two, two tennis range, or you could spend the full four in our in our lineup mm -hmm. and get all the features. And this, has, this does flash? Flash yeah. on clash? Flash on clash. Everything. The flicker pulse The only thing something. this doesn't do is that weird vibe that that one does. It does not do my well, which, which, to be God. honest, is, is really funky. It's man. cool. I've never held oh. another saber that had a vibe yeah. like that. Yep. Or and, any vibe. And this has lock up and all the other stuff. And right, you can so this has the, lock up, which is different than flash on clash. And, and you can change the color of your lock. Here's the thing. The other light sabers that we're going to cover in the next video, and some of these, you can actually change a lot of those features as well. Right. But you got to put the memory card in your computer, download a computer program that they provide. And, and then or change able, a text file. And then learn how to, or change a text file, learn yeah. how to do all that. Yeah. This you do from an app. I mean, yeah, there's something to be said about the app, especially for, for if you're not very tech savvy. For iOS and Android, by the way. Yeah, you don't want to be... I just think it'd be cool if you're at a con. No, it's super cool, And, man. like, you run into some other cosplayers, and they're all rocking Sith. Right, and you're just and like... you're in that neutral boop, 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 outfit. You're, like, in that gray neutral. Like, yeah. I'm, or, I, or I'm a Jedi. Oh, I'm joining y'all, though. I'll put some little black makeup on my eyes, be a fallen Jedi. But then I got a green saber. What am I going to do? I can't join these fools. They're going to like, they're like, let me into the club. Wait a minute. I'm going to button it, bleed my crystal. Right? And I'm not even going to touch on the saber. I'm going to go do it for Matt. Yeah, see, that's, that's sexy. Oh. So, anyways... Um, what do you want to close this with on our, our immediate or intermediate tier? Um, I don't know. I mean, you know, same old, same old. This is great. I love it. It's a good tier. I think this is, we call it the intermediate tier for a reason. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, this is where most people are going to be buying sabers. You're going to be buying in this room. And this will give us our bris, uh, biggest breadth and depth of the feature lineup, I think. I Once we're above here... We're going to hit it basically a lot when, of stuff. Once you up. get every after here, you kind of expect things to have all you the do. bells and whistles. Because if you're do. paying more than $400 for a Sabre, you want flash or on have a, you, you, want, yeah. you want sound, obviously. You want you know yeah. all these things. You want changeable fonts, stuff like that. Or have a unique bell and whistle that nobody has. Right, or right. you're just very specific. Like you may not have the same, you may be missing something, yeah. but you better have something to make up for it in a huge way. Correct. And your build quality better be undeniably awesome. Yeah. From this tier up. Yeah. So um, I am Farone. I am Josh. May the force, force be, be with, with you. you.